Around the globe, less than one quarter of all national parliamentarians are women. In sub-Saharan Africa, the average political representation of women is even less. But dear friends, <laughs> it no longer has to be that way. For future women and girls who dare to become leaders, to be chain makers, to move from the margins of relevance to the center of governance and political power, are resolved to bound together to unite in diversity for the achievement of a common goal. It is time to unleash Africa's greatest untapped power, its women. Former President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, the first democratically elected woman president in Africa, has launched a groundbreaking new initiative to advance women's public leadership on the continent. On International Women's Day 2020, the Ellen Johnson Sirleaf Presidential Center for Women and Development unveiled its flagship program, the Amujay Initiative. The initiative intends to shift the landscape for women in public leadership in Africa, moving from a culture of tokenism to one that values women's leadership. Our ambition is to work and help capable women across the continent achieve their goals in public life and public service. To provide a lift for emerging public leaders. Current and former heads of state and public leaders from around the world gathered to celebrate the program's launch and its inaugural cohort of Amuje leaders. It is sometimes said that there is no force in this world more powerful than an idea whose time has come. So we continue to observe the celebration of International Women's Day 2020 there is a global and collective recognition of such an idea. The seeds of success in every nation are best planted in women and girls. I will thank the first class of RMJ for their courage to stand up and be counted. Africa has made strides towards improving the representation of women among its leadership. But we have far to travel. Women must still overcome barriers including structural and capacity gaps and must break a pervasive belief that women are unequal to men. The Amuje leaders are 15 dynamic women who come from various countries across the continent with backgrounds in law, government, business, education, and activism. Their achievements are as varied as their origins, but they all have a common purpose to serve their countries and advocate for their fellow women. Today, we extend our hands to each other. We teach, we learn the hard lessons which others have so painstakingly endured. 
we mentor and we raise our sisters up. Over the course of three days at the inaugural Amuje Leadership Forum, the women came together to practice the skills required to be effective leaders, to learn from their mentors, African women leaders who have pried open the doors before them, and to begin to build a network of women leaders across the continent. As I have said from day one, we have to look at the forest of women behind us. We must not be the trees in the forest that take all the sunlight. We have to share the sunlight with the majority of our sisters. And what we have done with them over the past three days is to help them hone their leadership skills, give them ideas about how they can be better leaders, because none of us are perfect, and help them set up a network, a brain trust of others like them on the continent that they can turn to for advice. It is also important for me to connect with my sisters, my, my fellow uh, sisters, uh, who also have been through um, their own journeys. Uh, and I think it is important for us also, you know, to build, to start building those, the, those connections, that network, uh, that will ultimately lead us to improve the situation on our continent. It has been an opportunity to, to gather more, more courage. It has been an opportunity to learn. Uh, there are a lot of struggles we go through as women in you know, different countries. So seeing a woman who has walked that path, who has walked even uh, a path that is more dangerous than, than the path that we're walking up now, it gives us courage. This was not talk shop, this was not something superficial, this was a genuine desire to groom the next generation of female leaders looking from the inside all the way to the outside. When I looked at the list of the amazing women um, who are here, I just felt so encouraged. You know, it's so wonderful when you think that, you know, we have younger cohorts of leaders coming up who can take off the mantle and deliver, it, it makes you feel very, very good. This first cohort really energizes all of us on the board uh, to continue to, to do our best uh, to take uh, this uh, forward. With you having uh, braced it with your, your presence, your wisdom, your learning, your mentoring of each other, and of the three presidents also, I think felt the energy from uh, all that they, they've gotten from you in, in these conversations. Amuje is an excellent example of the type of support initiatives we have to provide to the political leaders, particularly women, of today and tomorrow. Join us in this groundbreaking initiative. Together, we can create a wave of women leaders who will help advance inclusive growth and development across the continent. More voices heard, more talents unleashed, and more agendas pursued that prioritize the aspirations of women. History shows us that investing in women is not only the right and just thing to do, it's also the smart thing as well. When we invest in women, we lift up families, communities, and entire nations. And there's no better example of that principle in action than Ellen Johnson Sirleaf herself.